To get away from the noise of the fair, we moved to the farm where the noise was quieter, but the smells were way stronger. Oh, I smell that barn here. Hmm. Uh, animal babies. Well, there's also porta potties. But still, animal babies. Yeah, which they go to immediately to the smokehouse. <laughs> from the petting zoo to the brisket. Zuckerman's nursery. Farmer Zuckerman from Charlotte's Web. <laughs> You're really near. This is just basically a Charlotte Weber view. Uh, uh. Yeah. The centerpiece of the farm was the Big Red Barn, a huge space filled with all sorts of farm animals. And the first thing we see are fake animals. In a circle of life. A baby cow drinking from other teeth. And then Instagram bans it. Yeah. Go! Oh, the papa go. Hey there, friend. This is who Phantom hangs out with when he goes on this little excursion. Yeah. It's like, it's just like want a cat to start riding this thing. Like, <laughs> cat on a goat, cat on a goat. All I want is a cat on a goat. This is the, the littlest pig. The pig is the littlest goat pig. The goat farm. The goat. It's the goat farm. Where's the tortoise? Where's the tortoise? He's probably barrowed under. Bunny, bunny is, is napping. I haven't seen your bunny. Bunny is over. I see evidence of the bunny. The bunny was here today. Because they they chat all over the place. Bunny's been here. I know it. I smell the waxy wabbit. Please, Mr. Fourhorn Sheep was my father. Call me Jacob Fourhorn Sheep. Yeah. I like the sheep on this natural wool logo. Who's just like seriously? Oh, look at the fuzz bug. Ooh. That's a, that's an ottoman. Yeah. <laughs> that that is that is the the dog from Beauty and the Beast. I'm honestly okay. Not touching any goats. Well, right now it's like pigs. Pe petting animals is fine, but I don't want to deal with the, the people. Inside the big red barn were some slightly themed backdrops. Uh, Babe, I'm pretty sure these backdrops are left over from Bravo Farms. I would have a shock <laughs> no, yep, they're they're really going hard into the Charlotte's Web thing. Yeah. Char <laughs> Of course, if they were really committing, there'd be a spider web in the window. Yeah. Okay, this so-called coffee saloon just reminds me of in every high school play where we had to rewrite every reference to alcohol. Yeah. Okay, this it is just doesn't work. this is very bad placement of face holes. Like the way it should have worked. Okay, if you see like that's cut out around the nose. Yeah. It's like half a face. You can put your nose right there, and no one consulted me. Which is to their detriment. Yes, indeed. Okay, this officially counts as an armchair Imagineering video now. Alright. <laughs> yes! With our first guest star. <laughs> also known side, side series of armchair Imagineering, Design Notes with me. <laughs> yeah. The Big Red Barn also had several stages for various shows and demonstrations, but we weren't about to schedule our day around being in the right place at the right time to see any of them. Sorry, fans of when I riff live shows. There's a Rick and Morty animal husbandry that's outside. And outside. Rick and, Morty Rick and Morty afters ice cream. Rick and Morty ice cream outside. Oh, Lord, Lord Almighty. Mm. Maybe that's where I get my rainbow grilled cheese. Like, okay, sure, this ice cream company is cross promoting with Rick and Morty. That's their prerogative. But let's talk about the thematic integrity violated by having Rick and Morty be in the farmland. Yeah. 
this is like hipster wine world nonsense. Ice cream. Yeah. As a person of faith and a person who needs therapy, both yeah. of those bother me. Yeah. yeah. Yes, this subsection of the farm seemed to be the dairy district, full of out-of-place cross-promotion and cows. Daisy's Dairy. Give me an answer, too. Don't you mean give me an answer, moo? Uh. <laughs> Did they mean to flop these around, switch these around, and imply that this was one continuous cow? Because, uh... Either way, I have questions. Yeah. I take back everything I said about those elongated cows at the Hershey, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. on the Hershey Chocolate World ride. Okay, what is it about the human psychology that on a hot, sweaty day like this, ice cream actually sounds really good, but a glass of milk sounds repulsive? <laughs> no, you're not wrong about that. Ooh, carrots and wheat. Finally, you can live your Little Miss Muffet fantasies. Hey, hey now, that's, that's a whole nother website. <laughs> <laughs> it's harvest time. It's harvest. It's harvest time. Alright. Antique farm equipment. Now that sounds fun. <laughs> I'm only half joking. <laughs> You're ready to relive opening year California adventure? <laughs> A tractor! Wow! Look at that tractor! Boy, I've never seen a tractor like that one before! And across from the big red barn was the bug barn, filled with both real bugs and giant animatronic bugs. Big old bugs. Mm -hmm. But these are animatronic bugs, yeah. so I'm intrigued. Yes. <laughs> your love for animatronics is outweighing your hatred for bugs. <laughs> yep. <laughs> After effects smoke. <laughs> oh, now I have to do work. <laughs> Sorry. Who are you? In the golden afternoon. This is a lot more articulate than I expect from a state fair animatronic. They also like a banana. There were also edible bugs. We didn't partake. And at the edge of the farm was the gardens, full of real plants growing strong. Look at all this vast farmland. And by vast, I mean there's just a hedge blocking us from the road right on the other side. See, this is the kind of thing year one DCA was trying to compete against, and, it, and it's like, why? I'm trying to compete against the LA County Fair. Yeah, it, it, it's like, the, just stay in your lane, Eisner. Yeah, Eisner. You, you're already so good Disney parks are already so good at what they do. Why are you trying to just do oh, this too? Peanut. Great food, shaded seating. That's the real that's, selling yeah, point. That's the, exactly. Although at the, at this time of day, it's uh, not quite so shaded seating all the way around. It is nice to like walk around you know, nature. And yeah, it's a little bit more. Is this rosemary. I think so. Fresh rosemary. Ooh. Oh my yeah, nice smell. <laughs> That's nature's perfume. Exactly. Yes. Look at those big, beautiful bastards. Money makes the fish sick. That should be a lesson to us all. Yes. Oh no, chickens driving. How can that be? Aside from its educational and practical aspects, the farm is just a key piece of the feeling of a fair, providing the hometown country backdrop that gives the fair its charm. And next time, we'll explore an even more nature-filled backdrop at the hill. A fair is a veritable smarkest board, darkest board, darkest board after the gates are shut. Each night, when the lights go out, it can be found on the ground. Oh.